Greetings folks, Daniel Wickwire here and welcome back to Monster Bites, where we discuss various facts and trivia about kaiju and monsters in all forms of media. In filmmaking, as well as a lot of other forms of media, many projects start but very few actually make it through to completion. Something us fans of kaiju films have experienced, from films like Godzilla, King of the Monsters 3D from 1983, Godzilla 3D to the max, and even Gamera vs. the Iceman from Outer Space. Speaking of lost Gamera projects, we will be talking about the most complete and most well-known of the giant turtles' forgotten works, Gamera vs. Garshark. Back in 1971, after the completion of Gamera vs. Zegra, the last of the Gamera Showa films, Dai started production on another Gamera movie titled Gamera vs. the Two-Headed Monster W, aka Gamera vs. Wyvern. This ill-fated film was supposed to introduce a King Ghidorah-esque kaiju for Gamera. As cool as that would have been, the project was scrapped and converted into Gamera vs. Garasharp. Garasharp being a large snake combining elements from a cobra and a rattlesnake. Luckily, there are some storyboards for the film to give us an idea of what they had planned. Garsharp would have arrived in Shinjuku, with Gamera appearing soon after to stop her. Garsharp would stick its tongue down Gamera's throat, okay, absorbing his energy slash flame breath and massively increasing her size and also turning Gamera white. Very similar to what happened to him in Gamera vs. Jiger, or it's possibly from her venomous spit. Garasharp, because I'm saying that a million times in this video, destroys Shinjuku, Gamera ends up getting better through the power of love, friendship, and plot convenience, and they do battle again, and at this time of course taking place in Tokyo. Mrs. Snake somehow manages to get explosives in her throat, Gammy shoots some fire at her, which she in turn tries to eat, that ignites the explosives, Boom goes the dynamite, and off comes her head. From her corpse, two baby Garsharp emerge. Gamera protects them from the military and takes them to a remote island. He removes their fangs and horns, because that's the nice thing to do, so they will not be able to harm humanity and leaves them to live in peace. Though I find that logic incredibly flawed. Garsharp's tail rattle can also produce supersonic noise, and as I mentioned earlier, she can actually discharge a white venomous mist from her mouth. Another kaiju was set to appear in the film, and I am going to butcher this to no end, Maruko Bukarapa, a mushroom looking crustacean. Its exact role was never specified, and much like Manga, another lost Gamera kaiju, nothing ever came of the creature. Dai went bankrupt in 1972, sealing the fate of the film, as well as any other good Gamera films until 1995. Though these creatures were not totally forgotten about, as there were a few Gashapon and Sufobi figures of both Garsharp and the Mushroom Crab, because I'm not saying that name again. Have you heard of this project? Would you have liked to see this film completed? As silly of a question as that is. What other unmade projects would you like to see us cover? Leave your comments below and maybe a suggestion of what you'd like to see in the next video. Don't forget to check out the KMR Facebook page, Twitter account, my Twitter account as well as the rest of the staffs to keep up with news on this channel. Thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be back in two weeks with the next episode. You all take care.